Hey guys, it's Arika Misha and today I will be showing you guys how I throw together my quick little uh, cheesy dip, whatever you guys want to call it, but my cheesy dip and I also, sometimes I can do it without the beef, but today we're doing it with the beef. So I guess that's beef, cheesy dip, whatever. All right, so let's get into it. I just wanted to come and show y'all real quick what I'll be using. Um, I have here a uh, Publix beef, one pound of the Publix beef. It is the market ground beef, 100% beef. Okay, we got that. And I have one block. This is an eight ounce of the Philadelphia cream cheese. Um, I have the, let's see, eight ounce. All these cheeses are eight ounces. It is the Monterey Jack cheese. We got the pepper Jack cheese. And we got the Kobe Jack. Child, we got all the Jacks today. So, and also, I'm gonna throw in a little of my favorite Sargento Mal Chetta cheese. Yes, Mal Chetta cheese. And today, I also have the Mission Flour Tortillas. These are the soft ones. I'll be showing you guys how I'm gonna cut these up and fry these so you guys will see, so we can use our dip. All right, so I've got my skillet over here. Let me get my skillet on. Get my skillet all nice and hot. We're gonna move the cheeses out of the way for right now. Because the first thing I need to do is to brown my beef. All right, brown my beef. Let me see. Let me get my beef in this skillet. But hold on, I gotta get my, my taco mix. I forgot, the taco mix, hold on you all. Hold on. Okay, so the taco season mix that I'm using today, the old al paso. Old al paso, I got the original. You know, get whatever kind you want. So, first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and uh, brown my beef. Let me get that in my skillet, cause y'all know the skillets get hot real fast. The skillet's gonna be playing. Let me cut this heat down. Cause I know this skillet gonna get real hot quick. So just wanna brown my beef real quick. Let me get y'all get y'all right here. Okay, just something quick and easy I do. Alright. Okay. Got our ground beef in there. and get it cooked up I'm just gonna go ahead and brown the beef and gotta make I'm not gonna make y'all sit here and watch me brown the beef so I'm gonna go ahead and brown my beef and I'm gonna add my taco mix to my beef and I'll be back to show y'all the second part okay guys I'm back I've already uh, browned my beef and added my taco sauce so um, my taco packet seasoning packet before I forget to tell you guys 375 degrees for 20 minutes that's how long I will be uh, roasting this in the oven in the skillet in case I forget to say that 375 20 minutes okay bye all right so what we're gonna do now as you can see I just portioned my meat off into sections and you guys will see why I did that because now I'm gonna add my cheese let me make sure you all can see real good make sure you all can see okay yeah y'all can see real good Alright, so I'm going to add all my cheeses, and you guys will see that I just, you know, cut my cheeses into like large, you know, blocks. Just going to kind of tuck them in, in these empty spaces that I left. Our beef is already done. We don't need to be concerned about that. Alright, so, we got Kobe Jack, Monterey Jack, all the Jacks. Y'all remember, all the Jack cheeses. Okay, so I'm just gonna do it like this. Since I got three different cheeses. Putting that cheese in there. Just putting your cheese in there, Not, nothing special. You just putting your cheese in here so it can get melted. Cause we're gonna put this in the oven and roast it. Oh yeah. And all that cheese in there. Woo wee! And one thing about this, one thing about uh, this recipe, you know, once again, this is one of my little bootleg recipes, meaning something, you know, that I just kind of made up, you know, as I've cooked it so many times, added things, took things away. So um, you can add whatever you want. You can add um, green peppers, onions. You can add whatever you want to this. That's the good thing about it. 
All right, so. Okay, so we got this other cheese. Let's squeeze it down in there. Squeeze it over here. Squeeze over here. Get some in the middle. Some more in the middle. All right, let's see. All right, so where am I gonna squeeze this? I'll just squeeze it right there. All right, now, we got a lot of cheese to put in here. Now we gotta put the Philly. Philly, gotta put Philly. Y'all already know. Y'all already know how Philly is. You better add some Philly. All right, so. I'm just gonna slice this. I'm just gonna put it across the top like that. I'm gonna put it over some beef. I think that'll be good too. Yeah, I'm just gonna lay it over the beef. Ooh, that way that cheese can melt in the beef. Well, that sounds good, so. I'm adding uh, Philly this time, the Philly cheese this time to the recipe. Like I said, you know, you tweak your own recipes, you add stuff, take stuff away, and sometimes you just leave it alone. All right, so. I'm gonna put that in the middle too. Okay, we've got some over the beef. Okay, I'll just leave that. All right, now I'll put this other last piece right there, because it's all gonna melt anyway, so. And I'm gonna add our sargento. Whole lot of cheese going on, but you know, it's like a cheesy dip, you know, with a little bit of beef in there. Oh, that looks good. That looks really good. Got a lot, whole lot of cheese going on. I've already got my oven preheated. Okay, let me take you all in to make sure y'all understanding what we're dealing with. Oh yeah, that looks good. Let me back up a little bit. Oh yeah, that looks good. Throw a little greenery because y'all know that's too pale for me. That is too pale for me. So, I'm gonna throw some parsley in there know how we do gonna throw some parsley in there get some greenery okay all right we got it we got it okay let me get a quick picture for the ground make sure y'all following me on Instagram at Arika Misha let me get a picture for the gram y'all know how we do All right, I'm gonna pop it in the oven, 375 degrees for 20 minutes, guys. I'll be back with the grand finale. Okay, guys, I'm back. As you guys can see, I've got my soft tacos. Just got them all cut up into like little triangles. However you wanna cut your uh, tacos up. That's, you, that's your business. Cause you pay for your stuff, so. That's your business. So, this is the uh, shape I decided to go with. Just a little bit of oil. You don't need a lot of oil. Just a little bit of oil. I almost forgot to grab the camera. So I'm just kind of flipping them over every now and then. So you know they get a nice little brown on them on both sides. Easy and quick. I mean it's not gonna take long to cook these. So just waiting on them to get a little bit more browner. They're not brown enough for me. I'll let them get a little bit more brown. Then let me take y'all in a little bit more so y'all can see better. Oh yeah. Like I said, I'm just kind of tossing them around. You only need a little bit of oil. They look good, they smell good. So, we're gonna let them get a little bit browner. And that's it. That's it for your, uh, you know, little nachos, homemade nachos that you're making. Quick and easy, guys. So. Y'all saw how quick and easy we did it. Put everything in the uh, skillet, put it in the oven. Now we frying up our uh, soft tacos. Hey, we good. And I will be back with the grand finale. Okay guys, we're back with our grand finale. Let me get to our cheesy dip first. Just wanted y'all to be the first ones to see. Uh, like I said, 375 for 15, or did I do it for 20? 20, 20 minutes. And when it comes out, all you're gonna do is mix all this goodness together. Ooh, look at that. 
me take y'all in. You know what? I'm going to zoom y'all in so y'all can see. We're just going to mix everybody together. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's some goodness right there. Oh, that's some goodness. Oh, that's so good. Oh, wait, that cheese and the taco and the beef and that Philly. Y'all know when you talk about cheese, you can't leave Philly out. Just so y'all know. Alright, so we had to have the Philly cheese in there. Yep. Just mix that up like that. Mix it up. Ooh, that looks so good. Mm, 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 mm. Well, looks delicious. I gotta take y'all over here. To our fry, I already showed y'all, but y'all see them. Take y'all in. Yep, quick and easy meal. I'm telling you, that cheesy dip is amazing. Amazing. Add a little hot sauce if you want it a little spicy, but that's it. That's all. Y'all seen me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media, Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that no electric is power. Thanks, guys.